two tablespoons of normal yogurt. Then I like to add sweetened condensed milk. So I'm adding 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. You don't have to add this. You can just do yogurt and milk if you want, but it gives it a little more flavor. Then we're using Fair Life Whole Extra Filtered Milk. The extra filtered is very important and this is a half gallon. Then you need an Instant Pot that has a yogurt function. And that's it. That's all you need for this recipe. So first I'm gonna pour a little bit of milk in, maybe about a half a cup of milk. And then I'm gonna put my sweet and condensed milk right on top of it. Now you wanna get a whisk and you wanna mix this in really well. It's, it's really thick, so the better you whisk, the better it will be. So once it's all mixed in, it's time to add the rest of your milk. So go ahead and just pour it all in. Next, you're gonna add two tablespoons of just normal yogurt. It's the plain kind, it's not vanilla, it's no flavors, just the plain yogurt and two tablespoons. All right, those are all your ingredients. Now it's just time to whisk it all together. Now you wanna make sure you get the yogurt chunks because you don't want big chunks in your yogurt while it cooks, you want it completely smooth. Now, you can put your Instant Pot lid on it, take the sealing lid off, or I just put a plate on top of my Instant Pot. So now you're gonna push the yogurt button. You wanna make sure that when you push the yogurt button, you want normal. You don't want less, you don't want more, you just want normal pressure. You want this to cook for the eight hours. So if the eight hours shows up on your Instant Pot, you are correct. Then it will actually start counting up instead of counting down when using the yogurt function. Now when it's all done, it will say yogurt. That means it's time to take your plate or lid off and see how it is. Now this is still really hot, but I just wanna show you the texture of this. This is thick and creamy and perfect. So I'm gonna put a paper towel on top and then just any type of lid or saran wrap or anything like that so it can store in your fridge. Now I stored mine overnight and in the morning I woke up, I actually had to flip my lid so it would fit in the fridge, but took off my paper towel so it can get all of the, the moisture and it is perfectly cold, delicious yogurt. Now right now this yogurt is really, really thick, but the more that you play with it and stir it around, it will break up the proteins and it will be able to be a lot more smooth. Today I'm just serving mine with a little bit of granola and a few blueberries on top. I like to use the fresh blueberries, but if I run out, then I like to use frozen.